Hello fellow memorizers, this is Youth Pastor Aaron bringing you day 20 through 24 of M90's Memorize 90 Scriptures in 90 Days, um, and bringing you day 20 through 25 today. Uh, I know this is day 22 if you're watching it, the day it's been presented, uh, but continue to use these videos as a way of devotions, and you know, watch them over again, over and over again to get that um, memorization sort of technique going in your head. Um, so we're going to review the scriptures we've done. So there's 20. It'll take a little bit of time, but we want to make sure that we take the time to hide God's word in our heart. Um, the first section that we memorized was John chapter 1, verses 1 through 5, verses 9 through 11 and 14. And this was, this is the beginning section of John, and, and it's very well done in that it introduces who Jesus is, who God is. Amen? So let's review. Uh, verse 1, John chapter 1, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. In Him was life, and the life was the light of men. The light shineth in the darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. And then skipping to verse 9, That was the true light which lighteth every man that cometh into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. And then verse 14 finished it out. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Son, full of grace and truth. And then our section, second chunk or section of memorizing was that same chapter, chapter 1, verses 23, 26 and 27, and 29 and 30. And this section introduced Jesus uh, as the Messiah. John the Baptist did the introductions for us. So, verse 23, he said, I am the voice of one crying in the wilderness. Make straight the way of the Lord as said the prophet Isaiah. John answered them, saying, skipping to verse 26 and 27, John answered them, saying, I baptize with water, but there standeth one among you whom ye know not. He it is who coming after me is preferred before me, whose shoes latchet I am not worthy to unloose. And then verse 29 and 30, the next day, John seeth Jesus coming unto him and saith, Behold, the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. This is he, of whom I said, After me cometh a man which is preferred before me. For he was before me. And the third section we memorized was John chapter 2, verse 1, and then verses 7 through 10. And this section was introducing God's first miracle as Jesus. Uh, his very first miracle, setting the tone and precedence uh, uh, that he cares about us. Every single little detail, he cares and is willing to meet our needs. Uh, so John chapter 2, verse 1 started it out. And the third day, there was a marriage in Cana of Galilee. And the mother of Jesus was there. And then verses 7 through 10, Jesus saith unto them, Fill the water pots with water. And they filled them up to the brim. And he saith unto them, Draw out now, and bear unto the governor of the feast. And they bear it. When the ruler of the feast had tasted the water that was made wine, and knew not whence it was, but the serpents which drew the water knew, the governor of the feast called the bridegroom, and saith unto him, Every man at the beginning doth set forth good wine. And when men have drunk well drunk, then that which is worse. But thou hast kept the good wine until now. Take some time and memorize those scriptures over again. Rewatch this. I'll put timestamps in here too, so you can go back and forth. So here we bring to our, our, our today's um, M90 verses. Uh, we're going to do John chapter 3, verses 1 through 6. And one of the most famous conversations in, in Christianity because uh, it involves Nicodemus. 
a Pharisee. Um, a, he was from the sect of the Pharisees, which was a group of people who really loved God. Um, and that might be overstating it. They loved the law. They devoted themselves to the law. They saw themselves as men who knew the law, who loved the law, who took care of the law, who made sure the law was followed. And, um, you know, Nicodemus was a man who was trapped by tradition because we see he was part of the, we don't see him as being a disciple, but we see him as part of this group. And he's trapped, but he definitely wants, he's eager, he's hungry. So I just have a question for each of you. What traps you? Are you willing to let it go to get closer to God? An important thing to think about as you memorize these scriptures. So day 20 through 25, John chapter 3, verses 1 through 6. Take some time here to memorize it. So verse 1, there was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. Verse 2, the same came to Jesus by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from God. For no man can do these miracles that thou doest, except God be with him. Verse 3. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Verse 4. Nicodemus saith unto him, How then, how can a man be born when he is old? How can he enter a second time into his mother's womb and be born? Verse 5. Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born of the water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. And verse 6, That which is born of the flesh is flesh. That which is born of the Spirit is spirit. Wow, right? Can you imagine being on that same roof, that same place, that same room, wherever they were, that Jesus and Nicodemus were listening to these words, something brand new, at least in the way that he understood the laws. So let's think, I want you to think about this, pray about this. According to Jesus' response, to enter heaven, we must be born of water and the Spirit. What does that mean? Explain what that means. I could go ahead and just tell you, but you take some time. Dig into it. After all, you're going to be the one that needs to witness to your friends. Take care. God bless and keep on memorizing.